Okay, these are the bottles for the draw. Old Ezra 7, Brook Laddie Lynx, uh, Vancouver Golf Club, Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon, Ballantine 17 year old, Elijah Craig Small Batch. Let's get some light on. Uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, Red Breast 12, Two Brewers Single Malt, Old Forester, World Whiskey Blend, EY Tradition, Older Spirits, Basil Hayden's Bourbon, uh, Alberta Premium, 20 years old, Ben Rick, Peated Cask Strength, Malt Barn, uh, Highland Park, Cavalan Concert Master, Port Finish, Ardbeg Ugadel, Ardbeg 10, uh, Octave Release of Gervin 2007, Iliac Cask Strength, Old Tub Bourbon, Adelphi, uh, what a Delphi this. Sorry. Just says blended Scotch whiskey. Hopefully I have more info. Oh, Dancy Man. Dancy Man. Okay, Glendronic 2009. Omore 12. Uh, Sculpt Malts of, Sculpt Malts of Scotland. <laughs> or Single Malts of Scotland. Uh, um, release of Kalila, eight year old, two of them. Uh, Emmerich from France, uh, Legavulin, eight, two of them. Kalila, 15. Uh, Laggy, 12. Flatboat Bourbon, Lefroy Quarter Cask, Highland Queen Majesty. Uh, M&H Classic, Glenlivet 15, Glenmorangie 15, McAllen, oh, oh, dang, uh, edition number two, Century Reserve 1525, McAllen 12, Glen Scotia 18, Amroot Intermediate Sherry, Glen Grant 12, Paralite Lindsay, um, released by the, the character of Isla, 10 year old. Okay, sorry. Uh, Pindaran Madeira, Locke Lomond, uh, 18 year old. R.I. Rye Bookers, I forget what year that is. Uh, Compass Box Spice Tree. Uh, Compass Box Hedonism, another Booker's, different release than the other one, Old Grandad, uh, Jameson Gold Reserve, E.H. Taylor Small Batch, and Octomore, what Octomore is this? It's, it's an oldie. Scottish Barley, yeah, that's an oldie. What do we have here? Edition number 060, 061, 167 parts per million. Anyway, anybody interested in it would probably already know everything they need to know about it. Okay, so that's it's down there on that shelf. Sorry about the terrible camera work. Uh, Cavalan, this is one of my pride and joys. Uh, comes in a super nice uh, and very fancy box, uh, display box with some nice glassware, uh, and that super awesome decanter, and the decanter lid actually has a Swarovski, huge Swarovski cr crystal in the lid. Uh, okay, this is the shelf of gems pretty much. Springbank 15, this is my oldest in the... Uh, Lot. This is a Hunter Lang uh, release of the Sovereign, 50 years old, Invergordon uh, Distillery. Original release of um, McKinley's uh, Highland Malt, the Enchanting Spirit, which was to commemorate the Shackleton Expedition. Uh, we have 
Cadenhead release of Strathclyde 30 years old. Oh, uh, here's a great one, but not super, super special. Jack Daniels single barrel rye. Blanton's gold. Okay, here we go. He's your average. Um, Johnny Black Label 12. Buffalo Trace. Woodford Reserve. Suntory Toki. Oh. Glen Aura Distillery, Glen Breton. Uh, 14 year old that I decanted from the cask myself into this bottle. And yeah, I was uh, super, um, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, I short poured it myself. It's not like they ripped me off. Um, and I met uh, Daniel. Uh, the master distiller who happened to be there that day and he signed the bottle for me, the label. And another Glen Breton product, Glen Breton Ice. It's a 10 year old aged in ice wine barrels. And a, yet another Glen Breton product, Silver, which is just their new make. It's um, interesting to try and I'll leave it at that. Uh, Elements of Isla release of uh, their Peak. And this is, is this it's not the cask strength or is it? Yep, it is foolproof, 59.3. Here's the 45% uh, uh, pure Isla elements of Isla Pete. Uh, okay, here are some more special ones. This is Weiser's Red Letter, the original release. Uh, I bought six of them. Uh, Every time I found one somewhere, I picked it up. Years after it was originally released. Uh, can't get it up with one hand, but anyway. Uh, yeah. So I don't think you can find any anymore. I think I probably got the last of them. Uh, Johnny Walker Extra Rare 21. Nice decanter. What do we have here? Fuyu, another Japanese, Jefferson's Ocean. This is the one that they sent around the world on boats. I forget what release this is. It's one of the early ones, I think. Oh, well, I'll we'll figure that out later. Uh, Crown Royal Limited Edition. Oh, here's another. This is Buffalo Trace White Dog. This is their new make release. Crown Royal Northern Harvest. What do we have here? Oh. Uh, Nika from the Barrel. Uh, old St. Andrews, 10 year old. This is uh, their Twilight release. Spectacular. And then, um, what are these? 200? 300? 240? I don't know. Anyway. Small size bottles for uh, Johnny Walker 18, Johnny Walker Gold Reserve, Black Label. Okay, here are two more specialties. This is um, CC Chronicles 41 year old. Uh, I can't take it out with one hand, but anyway, and I'm probably not even showing the bottles in the frame anyway very well. And here's another super oldie. This is a uh, Carsbridge 48 years old. Okay, so uh, is that it? I think that's it. So as you can see, there are some super gems in here. Super rare, super expensive. Uh, yeah, it's going to be sad not to see them in my collection anymore. But, a uh, good cause. So anyway, uh, sorry about the terrible video and uh, the background music I just realized is way too loud. But uh, there we go guys, that's and girls. That's it. And uh, it, there's so much here um, and it would make probably for um, just too much. I mean even if someone were to win it all in one batch. They'd have to bring a truck to pick it all up. So I might 
do two draws, and I might even have like runner-up prizes and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, thanks for checking it out. We'll talk to you later.